So I can click on this and I can adjust this at any time. some more rectangles and so we'll put one and you can see how the uh, cross highlights that means I'm on the line and so we're gonna put something in here like uh, maybe that and then I need to make another box okay so we'll put another one right in here and that's gonna be my site map and this is gonna be my legend and we'll come down here and we'll put uh, uh, probably a coordinate list and this little narrow box here might want to be if I can get it on there. There we go. This is going to be my uh, title block. Uh, I may have something in here for curve data. I may have something for benchmark descriptions. Um, so now if I want to, uh, and if I decide that this is all too small, again, I can click on the outside box, and I can move it over. And I can just simply grab this one and move him over. Uh, grab this one and move it over. And now I have a little more space. So you want to kind of judge that. This must be a shadow. So we want to draw a site map. Well, let's say that this happens to be like quad two, so now I'm going to draw lines. So, uh, uh, I'm going to make a little short line like that. I'll take one out this way. And another one like here. So we can cancel that function, and now I need to do some labeling. So I hit this text, and I'm going to put something in here and call this uh, quad two. And it says quad two. Down here I may say site map. And I may want to make this a little larger. And let's say that's Cherry Lane. And I want McCormick Road. Odd how McCormick Road doesn't line up with the road. So if I click on it, right about up in here, I get this little arrow, so I'm going to rotate that guy. I'm going to set it over there, stick him on the road. Try to line it up a little better. And now, McCormick Road's the way I want it. So you have the option of making this larger, 
smaller. You now we need a little north arrow in that site map, so we want to go to draw, supplemental, north arrow. I want one right here. Now, don't get shocked, because it's big. So, I can simply get on one corner and we can shrink that guy down to about any size that we want. So now, someone knows where quad two is. Uh, over here we might have a legend, and so I may put a little line in here to uh, separate the title from uh, the text. Uh, let's see, all that's going to be a legend. Ooh, we'll shorten it up a little bit. And we'll lengthen this up some. So now if I want a tree, two ways of doing that. I can highlight that and go to the start, edit, copy, and go start, edit, paste, and I go chink, and I can stick a tree there. Or I can go into the properties menu, change the point that I want, and stick it over here with GP. So I can now type GP since it's already set up for traverse. And I've got a traverse point. Uh, if I wish, I can. need to set a point here and here and then inverse between it and I can change my line up here to uh, tree line or fence line and I can put some of that in there. Probably about the best way to make a fence though you have to have quite a bit of space because it'll only put in a post ever so often regardless of the length of the line. So probably just as easy to put in a line like this and we'll go ahead and make that little tree line. We'll stick another line in there like that. And then I'm going to go text. I'm going to put something in here. So this is going to be there. I got it fence line. Some X's. Uh, over here, probably would want to go to Traverse down to small tree. Type in GP and I can set a tree right there. Uh, another one right there. So now we have tree line. There are a variety of ways of doing some things. Uh, and I do need to get rid of all these numbers. I forgot to turn the numbers off. So, uh, up here we would probably put legend. And that font needs to be probably considerably larger. We'll try 14. I don't know if we're to show you. And... If I don't like where it looks, I can move it and center it. And then here I can go back to text and I can put some text here. Say this equals tree. 